First off, I want to give a big shout out to Craft Customs, how to test GM wiper motors. They gave me this little diagram to follow and I'm going to basically repeat what they did. So ground the battery to the chassis. The top terminal I'm talking about as number one is closer to the window. So the top terminal there, one, two, three, if you can make it out, is up at the window. So, number one, ground your lead to the battery. And then hook up number three to the ground. And jumper number three over to one, like a strong. So, now let's do it. So, we got power on the middle one. And we got, as it says, one and then three and then terminal one. This will turn the low wiper motor on. And with that plugged in, we get it to where it stay, hopefully like that. Now, so we're in low speed right now. Now we're gonna go to high speed by removing Terminal 3. I'll disconnect that lower harness connector. And that puts you in high speed. And now to park it, to park it, all you need to do is disconnect number one closest to the window. Failed to point out first, you got to reconnect number three. Reconnect that number three as the first step, and then disconnect the number one, and it'll go into park. Just like that. I have to figure out why my windshield wipers aren't coming all the way down. That wiper should be all the way in that black resting on that little bumper there. So I have to figure out what's wrong with my linkage, I guess, to get it down because the wiper motor is all the way in park, you know. So let me show you a little thing I learned while I wasted my money, $88, on a new wiper motor. Um, this wiper motor is exactly the same as the one on the car this one with the three prongs there um, number one doesn't have any wires coming out of the body right here like like, like this one does uh, I don't really like that them wires coming out of the body like that but anyway this wiper motor will have an external fluid washer pump which is down in there coming off of these wires uh, black and blue So if you don't have the exterior The peripheral water pump then you'll have something like this hooked on to your Your washer motor which you see the only thing I changed there was the cover with this Pump hooked on up there, you know this this ain't no different Than this one. This is the this is the cover I'm using, and that makes that a the same windshield washer motor as this one. This one just has to have the uh, the pump attached to the motor, which which that little rod right there will will hook into there and spin it around. And now your pump is up here. Your bottle is still going to be down on the fender well, but that's just another another way to do that so just buyer beware that is the correct washer motor for the pump to be down here but if you don't have the pump down uh, if you don't have the pump motor down there 
then you'll have a pump motor like this attached to the to the front of it but it's the same motor either way so in my case yeah i could have probably used that motor just the same or even my old motor that i took this off of because i had that cap to cover up on here hope that makes sense hope i saved you 88 dollars